Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Kohler, the Agent of Enigmas, and welcome to episode two of season two of my show, A Deck of Tricks, the 52 week magic challenge. I have a fun trick for you all today, and keeping with this month's theme, we're doing another rubber band trick. Uh, so let's begin. Now, this particular rubber band trick was actually the very first one that I ever learned. Uh, I was in elementary school when I learned it, and between eight and 10 years old, I thought it was one of the coolest things in the world. So. Very simple, you just take a rubber band, put it over your fingers like this, and with a little snap and a little blow, you can actually get the rubber band to jump from these two fingers to these two fingers, right? And if you wanted to, for a little extra flair, you could have it go right back. <laughs> now, as an eight to 10 year old, that was the coolest trick in the world. And I didn't think that there was any way that you could improve upon that. I thought that that was the, that, that was the trick, that was it. That was the end all be all but I was proven wrong. You actually can take this trick further. How? Well, a few years later, I learned that there's actually a step two and a step three. And that step two is by adding another rubber band. I got a nice thick purple rubber band right here. And you take it and you lace up your fingers. See, because by lacing up your fingers, now it has an obstacle that it has to go through to get over to the other side. So with a little bit of practice, I took it and I was able to make it jump again. And again, still could make it go back. But again, that's only the second step. There's a third step. And the third step is adding one more rubber band. So you can take it again, lace it up. So then that way, now you have, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six different obstacles that this rubber band has to go through in order to get to the other side. And again, took a little practice, but with a little bit of practice, oh, excuse me, there we go. But with a little bit of practice, again, you can get it to jump across, <laughs> right? Now, I thought that that was the end all be all. There's no way you could possibly improve upon this. I'm also running out of finger space, so we couldn't add another obstacle that way. So how could this possibly get better? Well, a few years later, I learned that there was a way that you can still improve upon this trick. Uh, hold on, it's cutting off circulation. Ah, there we go. Um, and it's not so much with the physical obstacles as it is speed. You can actually do this rapid fire. And how do you do it rapid fire? Well, you take it and um, if you can do it just right, you can actually just wrap it around your hand like this. And again, if you can do it just right, you can make it go across like that, <laughs> right? So I guess the moral of the story is uh, don't ever accept that uh, anything is the end all be all. There are always ways that you can improve. There are always ways that you can make yourself or make a situation better. So keep working on that, uh, keep striving towards that. And as the old adage goes, shoot for the moon and even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Well, thank you all so much for watching today. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you have not already so that way you can follow me in my 52 week magic challenge. If you have any suggestions for any tricks or themes that you'd like to see me do in the future, leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to read that. Well, thank you all so much again for watching today and I'll see you all next week with a new video. Bye.